Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megabloks review with the SS Motion. So today we'll be reviewing the Spartan Customizer Pack, which is item code CNC95, is 66 pieces and currently retails at 6 to 8 pounds. So these new sets are everything that Mega needs to do right with the line. If anyone has been following the Megabloks line to date, over the past year they have incorporated something called the new armor system on figures, as well as, as well as them including a new articulation figure, which has a ballpoint arm joint, which means it can have a lot more articulation and hold weapons better. Mega have also included a new armor system, and this just adds to some incredible customization options. So, as normal figures, uh, the head is removable, and then the arms actually have these plates on them. These plates simply come off quite easily and are very nice and insert back on like that. So you can actually customize the armor very well. The chest comes off in two pieces, front and back, even though it is hard to get some off quite, I do it quite carefully because they could snap. None have snapped on me yet, but they could snap and uh, I will easily remove this now. And as you can see, the armor removes off the chest and back to leave a really nicely molded chest plate. The legs also have removable armor. You can remove the leg piece like so. And that is the extent of the removable armor. You can do the legs, the arms and the chest. Now of course you can remove other things. You can take apart the figure completely, but they're the main customization options that Mega has in store for us. Now, this set is specifically catered to show off the new armor customization, and boy does it show it off well. You get two figures, which I have currently chose to have the soldier armor, because I think it, personally, I think it looks the best out of the figures, but you can actually have a lot of different customization options. Now, each set comes with the following options. For Venom Team, you get the Recruit, Soldier and Orbital, and for Crimson, the Soldier, Aviator and Oceanic. Now, I'll show you how it works. With each figure, we get a Crimson and a Venom. These have specifically been chosen, obviously, because the last fire teams last year were Crimson and Venom fire teams, so these are just a way of you adding to your collection of Crimson and Venom. Now, if you take Crimson, each come with a colour-coded chest, which is already a very nice feature, having the nice colour pieces here. Inside a chest, you can find loads of different armour variations. Now, this is fantastic for play value. Kids could have hours of fun customising. There are thousands of options and loads of different ways you can customise. And I, for one, am completely for the idea. I think it's a great idea for Mega to implement. Now, as I've said, you get customization options for three different Spartans. So as for Crimson, you can already see he is wearing his soldier armor, and you can already have two other permutations, the Oceanic, as you can see here, and the Aviator. So, to make it easy for you guys, I'm going to lay out all the armor and guide you through it. So, here are the different armor variations for Crimson and Venom Team. Now, I've laid it out quite simply in front. As you can see, first of all, here's Crimson. We've already got this guy sporting the soldier armor. Looks fantastic. It's by far my favorite armor in Halo 4, so I was beyond happy that I got both Crimson and Venom uh, with the soldier variation. And then we've also got Oceanic here, all the way down, and we've got Aviator here, all the way down. On Venom team, we've got the soldier again, Sporting very nice armor indeed. And we've got the Spartan Recruit going all the way down. And the Spartan Orbital going all the way down. All fantastic sets of armor. Really good choices by Megan. Really strong sets. Really, they have chose fan favorites here. These are all the really popular armor variants in Halo. I, for one, have never personally been a fan of Oceanic. But it does look pretty fantastic in this uh, this Megablox model. Now, the other attention to detail that you must look at 
is every single back mold is different. Now, Mega did not have to do that. Most people would not see the differences, maybe not even with the chest. Some, like the soldier, have very specific chests that are noticeable. But the fact that they've made specific armor sets for everything, it's just attention to detail. It's outstanding. And the fact that this is a six to eight pound set and you have all these different permutations and you can make three different Spartans of each color, it's phenomenal. As well as that, each Spartan comes with a nice base plate to display your figure on, which is an always a nice touch because I love to display my figures in an action pose. And it really is nice to include those bases to do that with ease. The sets also come with two weapons. The DMR, which is a nice popular weapon. We've seen quite a bit of it recently, but I am not sick and tired of it to any extent. And we've also got the Saw, a popular weapon in Halo 4 and a fan favourite for me as well. Uh, the Saw is shown, pictured in the Crimson's hands and the DMR in the Venoms, but it's entirely up to you. I personally, in my pack, found a second DMR. Now that came in the bottom of the pack. I, for one, think I, it was probably a, an added extra, not actually in the set. But if you got a second DMR, please do let me know. It would be nice to know if that was a mistake or a nice little bonus by Mega. Now, this set is fantastic. It screams value. Even the detailing with the speckled black and dark red detailing on this is fantastic. And the green speaks for itself as well. I love the camouflage effect they've made. They've put all different colour detailings onto the figures. It is not just one block colour like a lot of Mega Bloks figures have been in the past. If you compare it to a past figure, you can see that past figures just have pretty much one coat of paint. Where these have so much detailing just by a little bit of speckled random paint application so they do look fantastic the new armor system is amazing adds for loads of posability and loads of play value and has them you know just being able to pose in fantastic poses a lot of the different weapons they would not have been able to be handled by old articulation figures quite as well as they can be handled by these so it is a fantastic upgrade and i congratulate mega on their fantastic engineering and ingenuity on these sets. They look phenomenal. Please let me know in the uh, comments which your favorite armor, armor variation is. I personally love the soldier, but I'd like to know what you guys think as well. But to be honest, as you can see, this set screams value. From just six to eight pounds, I got mine at six pounds. We are talking very cheap. When you compare to old things, when it comes to standard sets, you had the combat units at £10, which included four figures, but pretty much nothing else. Maybe a little display stand, but nothing expensive. And then when you go lower down the line, you've got the armory packs, which were around four to six pounds and included one figure. As a final note, one of the things that I really do think is one of the best things about this set is the fact that you have these different armor sets. Now, because Mega Brands has gone for this new armor um, variation and because you can remove all the armor and strip it down to the bare minimum you can buy any cheap Spartan from any random pack say for two pounds you can strip it down to the bare minimum and coat it out with some brand new armor so these guys can fit on any new articulation figures and that's what makes it fantastic that you can buy cheap figures and kit them out with the new stuff. When I bought one of the new zombie sets uh, the first thing I did was grab a scout from a series alpha pack get rid of all the armor and put some of the spare ar uh, zombie armor on it because it's really nice armor while I let it go to waste because this stuff would only sit in a chest and it shouldn't do. Of course, you can buy three lots of this to complete the full set of armor. Mega did do this once before. They introduced armor uh, exchanging in some of the old sets like the Revenant Attack and the Saber Countdown. And it worked to an extent, but what it was was literally just swapping out full arms, full heads, you know, full bodies. And it, I feel that it didn't work as well. I felt like I didn't get my money's worth because when I got something like the countdown, I couldn't, uh, I only had, say, a spare head. And the rest of the body was uh, missing because, obviously, you got, say, like a brown Hazop and then a Spartan Mark 5B uh, helmet and you had nowhere to put it. Now... Uh, that didn't work for me. I would then feel that I'd have to, buy, have to buy another countdown to complete the figure collection. But with these, 
You just buy some cheap figures, strip them down and get that new armor on. It's as simple as that. And this armor is compatible with any new Articulation Spartans. I cannot wait to get my hands on the new Articulation Elites uh, this coming uh, summer. It'll be around summer. And yeah, this set is fantastic. Screams good value, really worth a buy, and it's one of the first things I would pick up if I saw it in store. So, this was another Halo Mega Bloks review with the SS Motion. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see, and we'll see you next video.